ladies? You found a piece of sheep food. Hey, come on. Ah, ah, ah. Leave it. Let them eat it. Now, I'm still keeping the two flocks separate because I want to make really sure that the half of the flock that I've been treating in the shed for the last six weeks is cured of fit, foot rot and scald before I reintroduce this part of the flock, which isn't lame and doesn't have foot rot or scald. So that's kind of what I'm doing here. Isn't that right? I know you want to go and eat some food, but you're not allowed to yet. So mind you, Java and Inca are doing a good job of it right there. Not Java. Yeah, Java and Inca. Sorry, my head. I don't know where it is at the moment. You two, Java, Inca. Hey, pups, Inca. Don't, it's their breakfast first. You get to eat after, uh, 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 uh. Inca, come on. Come on, leave it, leave it. You can eat the scraps once they've had their breakfast. I know you're desperate to go and eat their food and you too. Not allowed yet. I know you're in, you've got the shakes because you're so anticipating. Maya, leave their breakfast. Good dogs. They're nearly done anyway. Java, no. They're licking their platter as clean as they can. Inca, I mean Maya, Java, leave it. And there we go. In he goes. Oop, he nearly got head butted. <laughs> Maya, leave it. Good girl. No, you're not going down this way. Nope. Ah, yay, Brindle. Leave it. Brindle's always trying to protect me. And thinks I'm gonna tip over and a sheep is gonna eat me or something. Come on. Come on. Look, she's got a touch of scald on her, this yo here. Hey, hey! She's just moving the flock on and trying to do what shepherds are supposed to do. Come on. So I've got one lame yo that I'm going to have to treat out of here, but it's just scald. It's not foot rot. Scald and foot rot are two different foot ailments. And during the summer months, the chemistry of the yarrow keeps it at bay. I don't know how or why. Somebody asked in the questions how uh, yarrow keeps it. When they ingest it, it affects the worms as well as something to do with their feet and the chemistry of it. Not sure. That's drugs and chemistry and all those kind of things. Okay, shed ladies. You ready? Ah. Come on, ladies. Leave it, Brindle. Brindle, leave it. Come on, ladies. Brindle, leave it. Come on, a little bit, move it.
Come on. Come on, girl. Hey. Take it easy. A lot of these are in lamb. Java. And a little bit. Always the straggler. Hey, hey, you. Easy. Come on, ladies. Come on, ladies. Doesn't take them long to learn the system. Brindle, come back here. Java. And a little bit. Java, easy. Come on. The alpaca have already galloped ahead. I quite enjoy this daily stroll, following the flock out to grass and their excitement as they get closer to where they're gonna be turned out. Come on, a little bit. Come on, girl. Come on. You can see little bits, udder is beginning to fill up, but she's still got at least three weeks. There we go. And they're happy out. All spreading out loads of grass and herbs. Oh, you can smell, there's chives. One of them's been eating chives. I can smell the fresh kind of chive, oniony smell wafting in the air. Mmm, that smells good. Okay, I couldn't help myself. I went to local flower shop. This was dead. What was in here was dead. And I just couldn't help myself. And now it's all full of life. And it was sunny and I was doing gardening and it's getting dark. And yucky. Yes. Okay, and it's lunchtime. Java, what are you doing? You both pups. Flip. Ah, oh, flip. I noticed I hung it wrong. I hung it there by mistake, so I moved it up there. Much better. Much better. Ah, uh, you can sometimes be a right daft tart. That's me, that's for sure. Listen to the birds. They're all on my feeders here. There's lots of feeders. Let's see. Oh, none of them are there at the moment. But there's loads of birds. Windy and wet now. Windy and wet. You can see somewhere else 
the sun is setting and the light is on those clouds. Now that's to our east. And as we all know, the sun sets to our west. But we have no sun. There's no sun. It's cloudy. It's just had a downpour. And I'm calling the horses in. Come on, girls! But someone somewhere has a beautiful bit of sun. Ugh. I'm gonna have to walk up here a bit and see if. Oh, they're coming. There they are. Come on, girls! Out of girls! Come on! Carefully, carefully. Walking through the muck and mud. Good girl! Come on, girls. Good girl. Come on, Miss Daisy Rose. Hey, 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 no. It's too muddy. No, no, no. Good dogs. Jo Brindle. We're getting the sheep next. So mucky. I mean, it is just. So much rain and muck. So the horses are in and the next I'm gonna get the sheep. I'll put a little food in the trough for them to encourage them. Okay, good girls. Yeah. I haven't said a thing. I haven't said a thing. They've already seen me. <laughs> My video went funny, hopefully. Anyway, I haven't said a thing and they're already collecting. They're collecting at the middle gate. They've forgotten they're coming in this bottom gate. But as soon as they remember, there we go. They're saying, yep, we want to come inside. We know there's a tasty nibble. And we'll be sheltered from this sleety rain. Not that it would bother them. They've got such big woolly fleeces that they're fine. Okay, they're probably gonna gallop along here. I've gotta untie this and not let it fall like it did yesterday. I have to catch it and open. There we go. Look, already galloping. They know there's food at the other end. It's also a good way to see who's um, yeah. lame. And at the moment, nobody's lame. Yay! Back two markers has Ebony here and a little bit. <laughs> the ones at the front are definitely galloping because they know if they get to the food first, they get the most food. So it's probably the lambs who aren't in lamb. And these waddling ladies at the back are the ones who are in lamb. Mind you, Ebony isn't in lamb. At least she's not supposed to be. Brindle, back here. Java, leave it. Come here. Java, leave it. Yep, they're all racing. <laughs> oh God, it's so mucky. Last couple of days have really made it mucky. Hey, hey, Brindle, leave it. Brindle. It is pure muck. Uh, now I've got to close this gate. Ah, there we go. 
all getting into a nice warm dry shed. Okay, she's a little bit lame. Got to keep an eye on her. That uh, yo yeah, right there. I mean, she's mostly sound. Yeah. Could be that she was waddling because she's pregnant. Oh, that broke. I've got to see if I can catch that bramble. Oh, it's good to wear gloves sometimes. That bramble can go out here. Come on, little bit. Good girl. Lovely and dry in there. Oops, lift that up. Lovely and dry. And they have mineral licks. So these guys are, well, yeah, they're over that. That's the salt mineral lick. And that yo over there is licking the other mineral lick and the water. Looking well, only one that's potentially slightly lame. So I'm gonna keep an eye on her. Otherwise, they're all looking fine. Isn't that right? And the horses too. Okay, I think it's around six because I heard the church bells chiming. And it's light. You can just see the reflection of the sunset. That's to the east. But you can see we don't have any sunset here. Well, there's a bit, tiny bit there. Okay, ladies, night, night. And don't any of you go lame in the night, please. You're nearly at being not lame, all of you. We're nearly there. Isn't that right? I mean, it's absolute slop. And this is just where animals walk through. And that shed has gutters. And the gutters go down there and it's fed down across here. So it's not like this is a gush of water from roof gutters. This is purely from horses and sheep and humans. Isn't that right? Okay, come on! Now you're on the gate and the dogs are there. Now the dogs are all coming this way. Java, are you coming through? Come on, good boy. Yeah, time was on the gate. As soon as time gets off the gate, I don't need to open the gate. Now right, puppers. Yeah. Yeah. 